The other reason it's 28 uh, years later is it's my 28th birthday tonight. And, uh, It's my 28th birthday tonight, and uh, I'm real excited about it because I didn't think I was going to make it past 21 because that's when I tried to kill myself. And that's funny because, and I see you're not laughing already, it's fine, we'll get there. There's an explanation. It's funny because when I did it, I wasn't sad, and I don't regret doing it to this day because it still might be the best thing that I've ever done. Allow me to explain, silent room. <laughs> um, I just left the engagement, wasn't getting married. By the way, the greatest like, sense of release from a relationship you can ever have is on the day of your wedding, taking all of your save the dates and smoking them. That's a, that's a, but it, we're after the wedding, everything's fine. I'm doing great, I'm real happy with everything. Uh, and I start volunteering to do sound on a bunch of friends' movies. I'm helping them wrap up stuff. And I used to think that my superpower was I didn't have to sleep. So I went about two weeks without doing so and came home one night and there was an angel in my apartment. And the angel in my apartment told me uh, that if I didn't kill myself, God was going to crash the plane that my friend was on and he was flying back from Paris. And without thinking twice about it, I just did it. And then the next day I was still around, my friend made it back safe, I was sort of like, oh, okay. Went to the hospital to ask, how am I still here? And that's when I had to start putting things together. The first thing, as soon as I said it out loud to one person, I was like, oh, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. It was like, hey, Brock, why'd you try to rob that bank? Well, Ronald McDonald showed up in my apartment and said he had a message for me from the tooth fairy. Wait, hold on a second. How many days have I been awake for? Okay, none of you are here. That was an easy one. Uh, and then I realized, uh, oh, I did this two weeks after ending a relationship with a beautiful, intelligent girl because she said she saw demons. Crap, should have waited that one out. She was the yin to my yang as I'm dealing with angels. Really, really messed that one up. And as I'm thinking about that, I was like, you know what? I was bleeding out for about 10 hours last night and not once did I consider writing a note. Oh my God, had I have actually died, she would have gotten all the credit and no one would have known what a good guy I was. But I'm already like, okay, you know, clearly I didn't sleep. That was a stupid thing, it's weird, whatever. Then my friend gets back to town and is like, Brock, um, my flight had terrible turbulence. Like I thought I was gonna crash the whole time we were in the air and then all of a sudden it just stopped at the exact same time based on time zones where I did the thing that guarantees I'll be wearing long sleeve shirts in the summer for the rest of my life. Um, and that's so much worse to hear when you've already convinced yourself like dumb brain did dumb thing and your friend's like no 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 you actually saved my life you actually did all of these things actually happen it's like no yeah that can't be true because if that's true there's a few things that have to be real first that means that angels are real angels are real and want me dead i've just lived through a bizarro version of it's a wonderful life where the third <laughs> act it begins with me saying hi clarence what's up and he holds my head underwater <laughs> And then I'm gonna have Christmases for the rest of my life where everyone's having a fun time and my eyes just keep looking at the tree and just like, get out of my house. <laughs> Two, it means that God is real and wants me dead. And I find this one a little easier to swallow because if you've ever seen a tornado, that's just God saying, I don't like what you're doing, turning it upside down and messing around stuff. And if you need proof of that, they happen in Kansas and Texas all the time. <laughs> so that, the angels are real want me dead, God is real, wants me dead. And the third and final truth that must be real, I can't be killed. <laughs> In the last 24 hours, I've had to go from learning that I don't have a superpower to learning that I am a superpower. Like I know every 21 year old thinks they're invulnerable. It's a different thing to know that you are. Angels can't kill me. God can't kill me, I couldn't even kill me, and I'm real. <laughs> so the takeaway from this is that if you ever find yourself in a place where you are doing nice things for others and putting yourself out, and then you find yourself trying to do something really good for a friend that may be above and beyond but shows just how much you love them, and you're just sort of, sort of outpouring goodness into the world, stop. 
Just stop what you're doing. You're not being a good person. You just need a nap. <laughs> Guys, thank you all so much for coming out tonight. I had an amazing time. Oh, you guys, thank you, thank you. Toodles.